What's going on everybody? It's uh, 40B Nasty. I'm here to show you the Elos Nitrate Test Kit. It's very simple to use and it's actually got a great color code chart for um, when you're testing. I did this the other day with my um, saltwater tank. Now I'm going to be doing it with my brackish water tank. Um, here is basically the things you need to know. That's the lid for the test tube. Test tubes filled by the syringe. The syringe is filled with your tank water. Here's the pottery agent on the spoon. Here's what you mix with afterwards. So here's the color code chart. 0, 1, 2.5, 5, 10, and 25. Here's the instructions for it. You got your 5 milliliter syringe. 0.15 milliliter side of the spoon. Shake for 15 seconds six drops another 15 second shake five minutes now you got your test all right so i'm going to do this here's the powder now they say it's not a big deal if all the powder doesn't uh, dissolve inside the uh, liquid which is your tank water just shake it up for 15 seconds Alright, pop the top off on that. This is the um, liquid reagent. Now, if you notice, there is a flammable and an acidic symbol on there. So what they want you to do is, once you uncap this and you put your six drops in, put the cap right back on, because um, this does have a smell that's not really too great, but I'll tell you what, it doesn't really matter. Just gonna reshake it up a little bit. Sorry about the camera shaking. But I already had pre shaken it before I uh, started the video, so don't think I um, didn't put any use into my hands for shaking this stuff. There we go. Six drops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Cap back on. Now mind you, I'm doing this all one hand, so if you have trouble with doing it two hands, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Put this on, shake it up in 15 seconds. Now I gotta say the color code chart is so great. It's very easy to read. Especially at such a low number on each one of them. Um, my tank water is pretty good all the time. Um, so it's not really too big of a deal. I mean, this is perfect for me. I actually do water changes. So this is where you pretty much are in trouble with your tank. You're going to get more headaches when you go beyond this point. So try to keep up with your water changes. That's the, uh, the best thing I can say to you is it keeps you away from the headaches. Um, one thing I like to do is talk about this cardstock. It's actually very paper thin and it could get ruined very easily with um, water that may be um, sitting at the bottom of your test tube right here because you actually want to rinse this out. Rinse it out three times with tap water or RODI water if you prefer and then stick it in your tank and just rinse it out three times with your tank water and then fill it with the syringe you know that's the best way to do it that's what they tell you to do why not just do it right so i'm gonna not give you the whole five minutes but i'm gonna show you you know come prepared put a uh towel down for yourself you know so you can uh dry the bottom of it so when you go to lay it on the cardstock you can match it up here i'll put this white piece behind so you can see the color you know I'm not expecting too much of a change it's pretty much been like that for my salt water tank and I'm pretty diligent about it so uh, about water changes my nitrates are usually always good so but this test kit it's awesome it's easy and you know what 
it's not inaccurate. That's the part that is awesome because it's actually um, certified with uh, NIST, which is the National Institute of Standards of Technology. So these reagents are all perfect. You know, they don't let uh, the shelf life on them are never long enough. They always um, rotate them around. So, you know, if you get the API Pro kit like I did, it was great for a while, but the thing is, is that bottle number two, if you do not shake it correctly, perfectly every single time, the powder that sticks to the wall inside the bottle number two will actually throw the whole test kit off from the rest of the time that you have it. So if you're going to use that kit, be diligent about shaking it. That's all I'm going to say. But, I mean, you can see the pink starting to grow a little bit. Yeah. Am I at 2.5? No. So, see what I'm saying? This is a pretty easy test kit. You can read it very easily. And, like I said, I did this all with one hand to show you guys and camera and voiceover. So, this should never be a problem for you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing the phosphate, the pro-phosphate test kit in a little bit. I'll catch you all later and happy reefing. 40B Nasty out.